All right, so I'm going to do a short video on how to run two instances of Final Fantasy on one computer, which is really, um, it's really useful to do um, if you're, if you have a buddy over or something, or you don't have an extra computer for me, you both want to play, um, you can do this. The uh, only thing is this guide is going to be for one, uh, loading it through Steam, and two, it's going to be with an Xbox controller and a keyboard. There's other programs you can use. I do believe let's use two keyboards and two mice. But um, for the sake of for the sake of this video, we're not going to do that. So um, more or less, the first thing uh, is what you're going to need. You're going to need a mouse and a keyboard. Uh, you're going to need an Xbox 360 controller or just any other controller um, that would work. You need two monitors. These monitors don't have to be the same. They could be different resolutions or whatever. Um, and then you have to have two separate Final Fantasy accounts, uh, both of them that you've paid with, you've paid to play the game. Uh, you can use the same Steam login for it, that doesn't matter. And your computer has to be decently strong. Um, I, I just pretty much just have a Ryzen with a GTX 1080 and it, uh, it runs just fine. So um, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go through the process of what to do. Yes, I am using OBS because I'm lazy. So it's not going to be super clean. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is run open Steam. Um, you come up here and you switch it to offline mode. Restart in offline mode. Um, usually, uh, for me anyways, I have to, I have to run it in offline mode. Uh, otherwise, it'll recognize that I already have the client open. For you, it might be different, but for me, that's what I have to do. So what we're gonna do is, first things first, we're gonna run the client. Okay, so this is our first instance of the client. Um, now we're going to come down here to sound settings. Uh, go to sounds and go to your playback. Now, um, in order to get two different sounds to come out, you're going to have to trick the game a little bit. Uh, the way that it works is when you first load the game, it saves the default sound output and it will always load off the default sound output. Uh, so for the sake of this, what we're going to do is the first game is going to be run off of the, the monitor and then I'm going to run the second game off of my speakers. So since this is the first instance of the game, the one we're using the mouse and keyboard on, uh, we're going to so let's go ahead and set that to default. So now it should default run through the uh, monitor. And then we're going to go ahead and log into the first account. <laughs> yeah, we'll just We'll move this guy down here. All right, launch the game. Now the game is open, what we're going to do is we're going to launch Task Manager here. Um, and we're going to kill the Steam client. Oh, we are going to turn the sound down because you can hear it coming through the monitor. Uh, da, 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 da. So now that that's dead, we're going to go ahead and reload Steam again. Okay, start in offline mode. Make sure you start it in offline mode. Go to library and you, you'll see right there how it doesn't have running on it. So that means that it's going to allow us to launch another version of it. Okay, now we have a second client open. Now we're gonna have to go back to our sound options again. And this time we set the second uh, audio option that we want. So this is gonna be the second client. And the second client I want to come through my headset. So we're gonna change that to default. Bring our Kupo back up. There we 
go. Move our little Koopo. And play. Okay. Now we're going to have to set our settings for both games. So you'll see that it loaded up on the first monitor. Obviously we don't want that. So, and, and an th uh, important thing to remember is when you load the second instance, it's going to load it with the same settings you had the first, the first one on. So you see how I changed the volume settings and reloaded it? The volume settings are going to be the same uh, on the second instance you loaded. So if you're going to change any settings, you have to change them on the second instance of the game because it's going to be an exact copy of the first one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our video settings here. We're going to run them both in borderless windows. But since this one is in the first window, we're going to switch it over to windowed real fast. And drag it over to the second side. And double click on it. And then it should just resize. And then at that point, we can click borderless window it again. Bam. There we go. Um, since this one is a 720p monitor, I'm going to go ahead and change the HUD scaling as well. Um, now my main monitor is a 144 hertz monitor and unless I run it in uh, full screen mode it's not going to want to run in high frame rate which is fine um, but just keep that in mind so what you're going to do now is you're going to come down here to limit frame rate when client is inactive and you're going to want to uncheck box that and then come to your sound settings and you want to make sure that you play the sounds when the window is not active you want to do that on both of them. Okay, perfect. Now, the second, the second instance of the game, the one that doesn't have Stormblood, is going to be the controller, and then the main one with the Stormblood is going to be the mouse and keyboard. So what we're going to do in order to get the mouse and keyboard to work is we're going to go up here to the Enable Gamepad and turn that off which means the gamepad is not going to be recognized on uh, this main screen or on the Stormblood client. Then you're going to come over here to the one that you do want to use the gamepad on. You want to enable the gamepad and also keep the gamepad enabled when the client is inactive. So that means whenever you're clicked onto your first window, your first game, the mouse and keyboard game, your controller will still work over on this side. And when you're playing the game, you're always going to want to have your mouse and keyboard window be the active one. Alright, so let's go ahead and try and boot him up. See if we can run the game. <laughs> and there is both of our characters. Grab our controller. So if you're going to do this, I recommend uh, installing to a solid state drive because it'll take forever to load two instances. So you'll go into <laughs> you'll go into Gridania and take 10 minutes to load because you're trying to load both of them off of a regular hard drive. Uh, whenever you get into game, make sure that you come over into your settings and uh, say over here on the computer. Your settings, da, 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 your character configuration, and make sure that this one, your main one, is on mouse and keyboard, and then on your other one, you make sure you flip it on the controller. But there you go. It's uh, it's going to be a little bit laggy, but that's only because I'm uh, recording. I did turn it off and test it, and there is no lag whatsoever. Both of them run 60 frames when you're not recording. So um, if you're going to be recording or streaming like this, uh, don't. <laughs> but if you do, you're going to have to have a more powerful machine than what I have. But with the specs that I have here, you can run both of them, separate sound, full frames. No problemo.